Fun? Well, the month is February, which means it's Black History Month. And throughout the month of February, we continue to highlight a number of African Americans who continue to excel. In this case, I'd like to introduce you to none other than Yakita Wilkinson. She's a program manager for Level Up, and they're all about a reliable provider of creative and innovative business financial solutions to support and empower minority-owned businesses. Yakita, welcome to the Fox 5 Live Zone. Thank you so much. Thank I you am, for having me. I am so glad that you are here today. Of course, as you heard me state, we have been celebrating Black History Month throughout the month of February. For folks that are hearing about, let's say, the Level Up program for the first time, and you are the program manager, why don't you elaborate what it is you all do on a daily basis? Absolutely, absolutely. So Level Up is one of the programs um, from FSE First. We FSE First is a CDFI. We provide creative financial solutions to businesses throughout the state of Maryland with the focus of Prince George's County. And so Level Up, this amazing program that I get to spearhead an amazing team, we basically help small businesses scale their businesses through partnerships with like the American, the Maryland Black Chamber of Commerce, um, Bowie Bick, just to name a couple. We provide everything from webinars, um, networking events, and the whole point of it is for businesses to meet um, coaches, network um, with other businesses that will help support their businesses, help them level up. Of course, I'm gonna continue using that tagline, but it's basically to help them um, Put themselves in a position that they can um, grow their businesses. So we're so excited about the impact work that we're doing in, in the community. Yeah, it's no secret starting a business. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine it has to be so hard. Maintaining a business, probably even harder. I'm curious, do folks initially come with hat in hand saying, hey, we need help or are they somewhat reluctant to do so? Look, you know, you know, we have so let me just tell you, the impact we have in 2003, we've serviced over 2,000 biz small businesses and with 420 technical hours um, of support given. And so we have various businesses. I mean, at the end of the day, FSC, our goal is to provide access to capital. And a lot of times these businesses are not always in the best position um, for for that, so we help them get ready. We we're the boots on the ground. So everything from their business plan, we have systems to help them with that, help them navigate through that process. We have coaches and consultants to help them navigate that through that process. And so, you know, if you want to level up your business, scale your business, you have to you have to be productive. You have to want that support. So our our services are you know at no cost. And we do see a, gr a grown amount of businesses want seeking that support um, because they want to do better. They want to grow their business um, and they want to just, you know, service more individuals. So, um, Absolutely. Yeah, we were just watching video of you all do what you do. And I got to tell you, as I sat here and watched it and listened to you, all I saw were smiles. <laughs> I mean, everybody's just so happy. And it, perhaps it's because of the information, the training, the coaching and the mentoring that you're providing as well. Uh, I say this all the time on this show. I'm a storytelling type of guy, and I'm hoping you can share with us a story, perhaps about a business that approached you all. And uh, perhaps they were in a certain situation and you helped them get out of that situation to we'll see the light at the end of the tunnel listen you know i'm so excited you know one of the businesses and i and i'll put her out there it's um hbcu leggings um this business was referred to us through the maryland um women's business center and she came to us wanting to um seek capital for her business um, because she received um a major opportunity to um product place her her um her products um, in one of the local um, HBCU colleges. And so um, coming to um, the Level Up program, um, she was able to be connected with one of our accountants that helped her with her projection sheets. And just that small thing, I mean, it's a small thing, but a big thing to her, um, but you know, now she's moving through. And so wow. we're so excited that she is now able to grow and scale a business, giving her access to capital, 
uh, maneuvering through the Level Up program, we're able to provide supportive services to her at no cost. And so now, you know, I can't wait to see her spread her wings into other um, HBCU campuses uh, throughout the United States. Yeah, there's nothing like a feel-good so go story. HBCU leggings. Yeah, how cool is that? I'm smiling now because of hearing that story. Uh, folks that are watching and are saying, you know what, I, I want to be next in line. I, I, I want to sign up too. How would one go about to do so? Hey, absolutely. So look, if you are a Maryland-based business focused on Prince George's County, but Maryland, um, just go to our website at fscfirst.com and you can see the plethora of services that we provide, um, the different loan programs that we have, and then also level up. And we have ongoing programming almost every day of the week through um, FSC First and some of our um, partners. And you can simply sign up. And if you, you need, if you need to speak with a level up representative, um, our information is on, on site. Well, when it comes to leveling up, no one does it better than level up. Once again, we've been chatting with Absolutely. Yakita Wilkinson, program manager for Level Up, joining us right here on the Fox 5 Live Zone. Thank you so much for sharing that information. That's awesome. Thank you for having me.